Hi guys, it's Brendan, back with another technology review. Today, I just wanted to compare a few types of cameras to show which type is best for each person. Enjoy. So, as you can see here, I have a few different types of digital cameras. Um, I'll start with this, which is a smartphone, iPhone 4. And if you just take, if you're just very general, um, you don't care about, you know, very amazing quality you just kind of want pictures of your family this is just a great option because it has it's an 8 megapixel sensor and it has a flash so it really has all you, you ever need um, plus it ha now with this HDR option including a face back camera it's really it's a great entry level just basic camera option and it'll ser serve your needs fine now there are a lot of downsides to a smartphone camera. First of all, and most mainly, I think is that it doesn't have an optical zoom. Now you might say, oh no, the iPhone has six times zoom. Well, that's digital zoom, and that's just essentially cropping the image. When buying a point and shoot camera, there's a couple things I would look at first. Um, well, first of all, the zoom. As you can see, this one has 12 times zoom which is really good and for a camera like this that can fit in your pocket another main thing is image stabilization now this is technology inside the camera that helps um, eliminate camera shake after, for handheld pictures and it's essential nowadays you don't want to buy a camera without it. optical image stabilization um, also how wide angle the lens is you can see here this is 25 millimeters and standard length, standard zoom um, for a lens is 35 so anything under that is going to produce a water angle image better for landscape shots and if you're in a room and close to your subject you need to capture the entire um, scene it's better for that. A very popular option nowadays are these cameras here a lot of people call them super zoom cameras um, or mini SLRs. I don't like the name mini SLR because it really doesn't have most of the features that an SLR would have. Um, but mainly it's a point and shoot just with an extended zoom range um, of up to anywhere from 10 to 35 times zoom. So these are great, you know, if you do sports or um, wildlife photography, you want to get in close on the subject, but then you sacrifice portability of being able to put it in your pocket as with this camera. Now the real question is, is it worth it for you to buy an expensive DSLR when all you might need is a point and shoot digital camera? And I'm going to try to answer that right now. Um, so first of all, you want to understand what a DSLR is capable of that a point and shoot is not. And I'm going to start with the shutter speed. It, uh, DSLR stands for Digital Single Reflex Lens. That means that it can shoot at a rate of a very fast frame rate. For example, the sh um, camera shoots 3.5 frames per second. And um, as you can see from here, I'm just going to take this mic put it down by the camera so you can see. Okay, so now there's no way a point and shoot could ever come that close to shooting like that. And a lot of cameras, this is just an entry level DSLR, but many come in uh, much faster frame rates up to 14 frames per second. That was only 3.5. So obviously you're capturing sports, wildlife. This, this is you're gonna want to go with this. Um, it's just the computer, the sensor inside is so much better quality built. The it's able to open and close the mirror very very quickly. The second biggest difference between the two is that you have interchangeable lenses on the DSLR, while obviously the point and shoot is fixed. Now, you might be wondering, why do I have to change the lens? And basically, it just gives you a lot more creative control over your pictures. Now, this right here is 
an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It's often called the kit lens because it's the lens usually sold with the camera um, body. And it's about, it's a very wide angle. It starts at a very wide angle, so you can capture a lot um, with the picture, and it goes to about three times zoom. So not a whole lot of zoom range. As you can see here, this is a uh, little um, shade uh, s for um, to block the lens lens flare, so that's helpful. Um, but and it has image stabilization, which is helpful, and autofocus, manual focus options. So this is a fine starter lens. However, I prefer some. I personally prefer something with more range which is why I went with this lens which is 18 to 270 millimeters in about a 15 times zoom now this lens you can see here it has the same options it's Tamron it's not made by Canon by the company and it's what you might call super zoom lens or all-in-one lens it's not professional but it does the job and it certainly delivers great quality pictures There are hundreds of different lenses for you to choose from. There's macro lenses, super wide angle lenses, super telephoto lenses, um, lenses designed for portrait photography, lenses designed for night photography. There's so many options, which is why DSLR is just unmatched in that category. Now the last and one of the most important things I want to touch on about the DSLR is that it has, it allows you completely take control of the camera's functions and settings and yes there is an auto mode so see the green here this is auto so if you if you don't feel comfortable you don't know exactly what you're doing just you can stick with that it's fine but if you want if you know what you're doing and you want to control um, the camera's functions you can switch it to manual here and keep the shutter open for as long as you like control aperture ISO white balance etc and that's a function you might have to some extent on these guys but not to the full extent you would on this that being said the obvious downside to having a DSLR camera is that first of all it's very expensive compared to one of these second of all it's a lot less portable to carry around Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like the video, just hit, hit that thumbs up down there and that subscribe somewhere up there. And um, I, I just hope this gave you a better idea about what you might want to buy. So see you next video.